When I came in this morning and looked at the trending tickers list, as I frequently do, there is a name I didn't recognize. Boyle is the ticker, the ProShares Ultra Bloomberg Natural Gas ETF. It measures the price performance of natural gas reflected through futures contracts. And it's been a big target for investors or had been a big target for investors seeking a ba- bounce back as natural gas prices have dropped 34 percent since the start of the year. Jared, what's so interesting here. So this thing was on fire and then it has come down a lot and has seen a lot of outflows from this ETF kind of going into last week. And you can see the the thing is now down quite a bit year to date. Yeah, nat- natural gas, uh, there's a reason they call this the widow maker mm. in the futures industry. And this is amid an industry that is already used to high volatility. So not surprised to see that there. I think in terms of the bigger picture, why are we seeing uh, certain ETFs more popular than others? I think there are two trends here. First is low to no fees. That's one trend. And investors have really started taking notice of that. And the other is these leveraged ETF, even single stock ETF. So you can bet on the reverse. You can bet on Tesla going up by a multiple of itself or going down. So with that leverage, people are looking for juice because we haven't seen in the overall market, we haven't seen in meme stocks, the tremendous volatility that we saw in 2021, 2022, at least volatility going the right way for for buyers of some of these uh, stocks. So I think People looking for leverage are just using this as a replacement for wherever the action is. Interesting. Well, I, I don't know if it's working for them <laughs> or not, I guess. Well, you know, if, if, the, if one is not working for you, there's always an inverse. Right. So. Yes, that is true. Although, like, as a former colleague of mine used to say, like, you, you know, you have sort of green, yellow and red maybe when you look at ETFs. Mm-hmm. And these are these require a higher degree of sophistication oh, definitely. to trade these kinds of things. So and there are tax consequences with yeah. certain ETNs that you don't have ETFs. Read your perspective. Yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be careful.